the word of God tests us. Praise the Lord. Like this message you are hearing now. It tests you. If you leave it to go, you have failed the test of the word. If you anchor on it and stay on it for the next 10 years, it will prove to you that you should be anointed because you've stayed faithful to it. Hallelujah. You have heard that one day God is going to choose me for greater things. Then you wait for that word to come to pass. Praise the Lord. There are many things this man didn't do, Joseph, because of the word he had. It was because of the word in him that he refused to sleep with Potiphar's wife. The wife was freely giving herself to him. She said, I'll even give you money. I'll do everything you want if you sleep with me. But he remembered the word of the Lord. What God gave him and said, I cannot sleep with you. You are not part of the package. Hallelujah. What God spoke to me does not include a woman. Does not include fornication. So he had to make sure he goes through that test. He doesn't sleep with this woman. Why? He's keeping the word. The Bible says, until the time his word came to pass, and the word of the Lord tested him. Amen. If you have it, keep on it. Stay on it. Believe in it. Trust it. Depend on it. Don't waver on the word. The word cannot shake. The word cannot change. The word is true. Hallelujah. These tests work together. The time tests work together. But also the word is there. If you have the word, keep the word. Tim Paul told Timothy, keep that word. He didn't say keep the car. Keep the house. Keep the shoes. Keep the clothes. Keep that word which I entrusted with you. Amen. The most important thing that we have to keep is the word in us. Not just cars and houses, but the word. Because this word shall test you.